What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to go through this probability question from a high school math competition. So take a second to read through this. So we have Hank and Frank playing a spinning game, and the probability of winning on a single spin is 2 out of 5. Hank goes first, and we need to calculate the probability that Hank wins the game. So what we have to think about for this is what are the different ways that Hank could actually win this? So what could happen is Hank could win on the first round. Hank could win on the second round. He could win on the third round, the fourth round, and so on. Okay, so we have to think, how would Hank win on the first round? Well, the probability of Hank winning the first time is 2 out of 5. But we have to also consider, there's also the possibility that Hank wins on the second round. But for Hank to win on the second round, he needs to not win on the first round. So we have to think, what's the probability of Hank not winning on the first spin? Well, that would be 3 out of 5. But this would be Hank's spin. Now, Frank, we would need Frank to not win as well. So the probability of Frank not winning when he spins is also 3 out of 5, and we would multiply those. But now we want Hank to win on the second spin. So what's the probability of Hank winning when he spins? That's 2 out of 5. So this would account for him winning on the first spin, him winning on the second spin. But we also have to consider the probability that Hank wins on the third spin. And you'll notice a pattern here that Hank goes first, but we want him to not win on the first spin, so that would be a 3 out of 5 chance. We need Frank to not win on the second... Uh, I'm sorry, we need Frank to not win on the first spin, and that's a 3 out of 5 chance. And now that it's the second spin, there's a 3 out of 5 chance that Hank won't win on the second spin, and there's a 3 out of 5 chance that Hank won't win... I'm sorry, that Frank won't win. I should have made their names maybe not rhyme. But there's a 3 out of 5 chance that Frank won't win on his second spin. So now we get to the third spin, and there's a 2 out of 5 chance that Hank wins when spinning on the third spin. Okay, so we might start to see the trend here. And if we do one more, for Hank to win on the fourth spin, there would be a 3 out of 5 chance of him not winning on the first spin. And then we need Frank to not win. And now the second round, 3 out of 5 chance that Hank doesn't win. 3 out of 5 chance that Frank doesn't win. Now here comes the third round, 3 out of 5 chance that Hank doesn't win. 3 out of 5 chance that Frank doesn't win. And now here comes the fourth round, 2 out of 5 chance. And this pattern will continue. So we have to look for the pattern here for this question. So what we can notice is that each of these terms here in the sum have a factor of 2 fifths that could be taken out. So we'd have 2 fifths times 1 plus, And notice we have 3 fifths times 3 fifths, which is 3 fifths squared. And then after this, we would have 3 fifths times itself 4 times. So that would make 3 fifths to the fourth power. And then for the next part here, we would have 3 fifths to the 6th power. So we could see once this pattern continues here, this is a geometric series inside of the parentheses. And what are we multiplying by each time to get to the next term? Our, our common ratio here is 3 fifths to the 2nd power. So now we just have to know how to evaluate an infinite geometric series. So the 2 fifths is going to stay on the outside, but this infinite geometric series on the inside the formula for evaluating the sum is equal to, we have the first term, which is 1, over 1 minus the r value, which is 3 fifths squared. Okay, so this is how we would evaluate our infinite geometric series. The first term divided by 1 minus the r value. So now we just work this out. We have 2 fifths times, and we have 1 over 1 minus 3 over 5 times itself is going to give us 9 over 25. And then 1 minus 9 over 25, just do 25 over 25 minus 9 over 25, is going to make 16 over 25. So we'll have 2 fifths times 1 over 16 over 25. And now we just simplify this. We have 2 fifths times, and then we just flip this to 25 over 16. And now the rest we just simplify. We have 2 fifths times 25 over 16. So now 2 over 16 reduces to 8, and 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5, so this simplifies to 5 over 8, so this is the probability of Hank winning.